Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. I am also the medical author of the books Focus Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. We are continuing with a series of neuroimaging concepts and today we are going to talk about arteriovenous malformations of the brain AVM. Neuroimaging concepts part 31, hemorrhagic stroke part 6, arteriovenous malformations of the brain. What is arteriovenous malformation otherwise known as AVM? An AVM or arteriovenous malformation consists of a tangle of dilated vessels that form an abnormal communication between the arterial and the venous system. These are developmental abnormalities that represent persistence of an embryonic pattern of blood vessels and they are not a neoplasm. So they are developmental abnormalities. What is the normal pattern? When a blood goes through artery, it goes from the artery to the arteriole to the capillary to the venule to the vein. So there are a lot of interspersed vessels between the artery and the vein, namely the arteriole, capillary, venule. But due to developmental abnormalities, if there is a direct communication between the artery and the vein without the intervening arteriole, capillary and vein venules, we call that as an arteriovenous malformation. Because they are developmental abnormalities, they are weak and they are prone to rupture and causing hemorrhage. So one of the other important cons, uh, causes of hemorrhagic stroke is arteriovenous malformations. So an arteriovenous malformation consists of a tangle of dilated vessels that form an abnormal communication between the arterial and the venous systems. These are developmental abnormalities that represent persistence of an embryonic pattern of blood vessels and not a neoplasm. So if you see this imaging, you will be able to appreciate better. So this is the T2 weighted MRI, T2 because the CSF is white in color and this is the parietal area. So this is the parietal, parietal arteriovenous malformation. The T2, the T2 weighted MRI shows a tangle of vessels interspersed throughout the parietal lobe. So you can see these tangle of vessels inter, interspersed throughout the parietal lobe. So if you find this kind of abnormality, then you should suspect arteriovenous malformation. And since this is a parietal lobe, this is a parietal AV malformation. So how can we uh, diagnose it? So generally when we give a contrast in an artery, it takes a long time for it to appear in the vein because the contrast has to enter the artery, then has to go to the arteriole, then the capillary, then the venule and the vein. So artery, arteriole, capillary, venule and vein. So it takes a long time for it to appear in the vein. But if there is a direct communication between the artery and the vein, when the contrast is injected, it appears very early in the vein because there is no interspersed or intervening arteriole, capillary and venule. So it appears directly into the vein. So the early filling or early dilatation of the draining veins is a diagnostic feature in neuroimaging to diagnose arteriovenous malformation. So here you can see in this imaging, the contrast is injected into the artery which reveals abnormal early filling of dilated veins due to blood bypassing the capillary blood. So contrast injected into the artery reveals abnormal early filling of dilated draining veins due to blood bypassing the capillary beds and you can see the early dilatation of the veins. So this is the diagnostic feature of arteriovenous malformation. So I hope you have enjoyed these wonderful concepts of the arteriovenous malformation. The other important concepts of clinical neurology I put in a book called exam oriented clinical neurology especially useful for students appearing for clinical neurology exams if interested this book could be purchased 
the other book i've written is focus neurology which contains all important neurology concepts in a question and answer format this book will be very useful for students appearing for oral or viva exams this book is available online from all leading booksellers including amazon so if interested this book could be purchased online so i hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of arteriovenous malformation if you have enjoyed please like and share the link but please subscribe my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts which is india's leading neurology educational youtube channel and also my web page dr srinivas concepts thank you bye